equations with fractions. So we're going to mix our algebra knowledge, our equation knowledge, and our fraction knowledge here and see what we can do. Let's look at x over 5 plus 3x over 5 equals 4. So this is mixing a lot of things here, so it might be a little tricky. So we've got two fractions with the same denominator. Well, that means we can add them together and we just add the numerators together. So let's do that. And we keep the denominator the same. Okay, so denominator stays the same. And now, what is x plus 3x? Well, they're like terms. Remember, that's a 1x. 1x plus 3x is going to give us 4x over 5. Now, it should become just like a two-step equation where we can multiply both sides by 5 because we're trying to get x by itself because 5 divided by 5 is going to be 1 equals under equals and we're just left with the 4x. 4 times 5 is 20. Now we can finally get rid of that 4 by dividing both sides by 4 because 4x means 4 times x. 4 divided by 4 is 1 equals under equals and we're just left with the x equals 20 divided by 4 is 5. All right, that was good when the denominator is the same, but what happens when they're different? Let's look at x over 3 plus x over 2 equals 10. Now, I'm going to show you two methods on how you can solve this but they both involve finding the lowest common multiple of the two denominators. So we're gonna take out, so we need the lowest common multiple of two and three. All right, so let's write some multiples of two. We've got two, four, six, eight, 10, and so on. We've got three, six, nine, 12, and so on. And hopefully you can see that the lowest number in both is 6 and that's our lowest common multiple and we need to know this in order to add these two fractions together. So our first method is going to be making equivalent fractions with our two fractions to make sure they both have a denominator that is the lowest common multiple that we just found. So we need both of these denominators to be 6. So how do we make a 3 or 6? Well you just got to times it by 2. But whatever you do the denominator, you do the numerator in equivalent fractions. And over here, we need to make this a 6, so multiply it by 3. Whatever you do the denominator, you do to the numerator. All right, equals under equals. Now, 2 times x is 2x. Two, 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 3 times x is 3x. Over 2 times 3 is 6. Equals 10. And this comes a lot easier to solve now because... We've got two fractions that are being added together with the same denominator. So we can do this now. Because when you have two with the same denominator, you keep the denominator the same and you add the numerators together. So 2x plus 3x is going to be 5x equals 10. And now we just have a two-step equation to solve. So we're going to get rid of the denominator first. So dividing, so opposite of dividing by 6, we times in by 6. We're going to do that to both sides. Because 6 divided by 6 is 1 and it goes away. On that left-hand side, we're just left with 5x. 10 times 6 is 60. Now we just need to get rid of that 5 because we need to get x by itself. The opposite of timesing by 5 is dividing by 5. Because remember, 5x means 5 times x. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Equals under equals. We're just left with the x. And 60 divided by 5 is 12. All right. Going to look at the same question and solve it a different way. A bit more of an advanced way, but let's have a look. If you like it, feel free to use it. Okay, so exact same question. x over 3 plus x over 2 equals 10. In this way, you still need the lowest common multiple, but we've already found out that it's 6. And now you just need... 
This method involves multiplying every single term you see by that lowest common multiple. So we're going to multiply this term by 6, this term by 6, and this term by 6. So there's, a, there's only three terms here. If you multiply them all by 6, let's see what happens. Well here, we've got 6 divided by 3. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that becomes 2 times x, which is 2x. Over here, we've got 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So we're left with 3 times x, which is 3x. And we've got 10 times 6, which is 60. We've got like terms on the left-hand side. 2x plus 3x is 5x. That equals 60. And now, we just need to get rid of the 5 by dividing both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, equals under equals, x equals 12, same as before. So feel free to use whatever method you like. Okay.